Hey, what's up? I'm Lauv, and today I'm gonna be painting my album, How I'm Feeling. Basically, the whole concept for the album was about embracing different parts of your personality. So uh, I created these different characters that are all like different colors that kind of represent different emotions or different exaggerated personalities that all together make up uh, me. Purple, which is existential. Blue, which is hopeless romantic. Then we got green, which is goofy. Yellow, that's uh, positive. Orange, that's fuck boy. <laughs> And red that's spicy. Drugs in the internet. Um, okay. That's it. For me, that was kind of like the place, sort of, that I was in when I made that song. It was sort of me calling myself out, and it was kind of like the beginning of this existential crisis I had. <laughs> It basically sets the tone because it was like the first time I'd really written something that wasn't just like hopeless romantic and like love or heartbreak or whatever. Um, and uh, yeah, it kind of sets the stage for something a little bit more substantial, I guess. Um, my relationship with social media in some ways has changed, some ways it's on some days the same, which I'm not happy about. But I would just say it's a lot more natural. I'm a lot more just like not boxed into this like sort of personality, you know? Because before it was like, I always would like overthink and I, I feel really ashamed saying this, but I would sometimes spend like an entire day thinking about like a caption for a photo, which is so like not good for happiness. Um, so I would just say I'm in a much more natural place, which is nice. Okay, Sims, it's actually surprising to me how hard this is because I want it to be so good and I'm like, I'm so bad at painting. The funny thing is I honestly didn't even really grow up playing a lot of Sims, so I feel kind of funny in that way. I use, I use Sims to introduce all the characters because I wanted to kind of do this thing, showing the different people inside of my brain and kind of like making it like this exaggerated thing. Um, I especially love the f boy scene. <laughs> I was so bad though when I was shooting that. Like every time I play the f boy, it feels so gross. Not good. Not good. I feel like for me, like my favorite is Goofy Green. Um, just because like, it's just like the most free and fun and like whatever, like childish, like doesn't really care. Um, I also have been like really digging into uh, Yellow Positive. Like, just like, I don't know, doing a lot of things like meditating and practicing gratitude, because it's really helped me get out of a bad place. Purple existential is very present in me. I would say hopeless romantic less so, unless I get a crush on somebody, then all the hopeless romanticism comes back. <sighs> Feelings. Mm, honestly. Feelings is like... With... It's like just like that feeling of like when you're really falling quickly for someone and like you're super happy, you're kind of like high off of it and you're just like, I hope you're there with me and like we can just like dive in together when the other person's a little like nervous about it and not like totally in yet. So yeah, that's the vibe. Okay, we're gonna do mean it. Cool, it almost looks like a butterfly. I don't know how that happened. Long story short, I was seeing somebody and I tend to like dive in really fast, I've realized. It's a bit of a pattern. And sometimes I realize that maybe I don't feel the way that I thought I felt. And so I was kind of like imagining what that person might say to me, which felt kind of shit. You know, to be do writing a song like that, you're kind of like, oof, that's kind of like a burn on yourself. But yeah, a little spicy. I mean, the spicy is basically like that. I think the anger that person would experience, being like, if you don't actually mean it, then don't say it to me. Tell my mama. Don't lie to 
me I just got in my head When the morning comes you're still in my bed I think the lyric kind of speaks for itself. Like, it's so clear. Who are you? Because you're not the girl I fell in love with. I actually wasn't expecting the collab with BTS on the album, so it was, like, amazing that it, that it happened. And I met them at their show in uh, London, and they were super sweet. And then I was kind of not really expecting anything beyond that, but I just had the demo of Who lying around and I thought it'd be something kind of different, you know, for them and for me. But I thought their voices would sound amazing on it, and so I sent it and it just kind of was like super natural. I feel like every collab on the album happened very much in like a, um, just kind of natural in the moment way, like I didn't really plan on having specific collabs or anything, so it was really cool. I'm so tired of the songs, tired of the songs, tired of the songs, I met a girl out to her now, It almost looks like the Chili's logo. <laughs> Basically, the pink obviously doesn't exist in the scheme, but I was wearing a pink sweater in the music video, so that's just a little homage to the pink sweater. We love you, pink sweater. And yellow, because it was like very much a time in my life where I was just like so happy and so in love that I didn't really care. And I was like, it, let's get tattoos together, which literally happened like two weeks into seeing this person. So, yeah, and it's just a fun song. I think it's like, the, in, in terms of the album, probably like the most just like fun, like whatever kind of song. That one is uh, speaks for itself. I feel like Modern Loneliness like says something that I've felt for a really long time growing up for various reasons and now today especially with social media and the way kind of friendships exist um, for a really long time and I never really knew how to articulate it and one day it really just kind of came to me in a way that I never expected like each lyric I honestly felt like it was like channeled from a different place that wasn't really thought about in my head and I just think it's something that every time I sing it like I pretty much every time I sing it I like break down um, it's just like probably the most true thing I've, I've ever said. Like a lot of the lyrics are really, really, like I'm ashamed of myself. It's like, love my friends to death, but I never call and I never text. It's like very, very, I don't know, just close to me. And um, I think a lot of people, at least that I talk to, feel that way um, today, so. And I want it to be about not being sad, about like breaking modern loneliness is kind of the whole thing, so, yeah. So this is how I'm feeling, my album, 21 songs. Um, I didn't think it would go well, but I actually really enjoy this. Honestly, I'm really proud of this. Because it's got such a different, like, so many different vibes, like symbols, like abstract words, and I don't know, I really like it. And I really like this one, Sad Forever, it's really cool to me. So it went better than I expected. I don't know what you guys think. You guys probably think it's shitty, but I enjoy it. Yeah, thank you guys so much for watching and for allowing me to do this. It was really fun. And yeah, go check out the music. Bye.